Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about what happens when we are trying to weld letters together and they get blacked out or shaded in the inside. So let's go ahead and delete this and we'll start over so that you can see. We'll click on text and we'll just type in beautiful again. So I'll bring this word up here so that it's easier to see. And the letters are not touching, they're not attached so to each other. So we'll come up here to letter space and arrow down. Bring them a little bit closer. Okay, so I think that looks good. Now you'll see the E and the B are pretty close now. Um, and the U and the T are pretty far away. Let's bring this B over a little bit. And these letters, let's bring those over. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now we will highlight the whole word and let's weld. Okay, so now you see here the L is shaded in. I don't want it to look like that. I don't know, maybe there are some projects that you're working on that you would like it that way, but for this project, I want the L um, to not look like this. So we are going to go back so that it's no longer welded anymore. And all we're going to do is move this L over just a little bit away from the U. Okay, so we'll highlight the whole word now and weld again. So what had happened is the L and the U were too close together. So when the letters are too close together and you try to weld them, it will sometimes shade in the inside of the letter or the letters can actually uh, disappear. So if that happens when you're working on something, just go ahead and put the letters just a little bit further apart. Now in this, when you are in weld and let's say, oh my gosh, this was beautiful. Uh, I love the letters. I can't remember what letters these are. You come up here to where your word is next to weld, right click, and if you come down to image info, now you may not be able to see it on my screen here because it's pretty light. I don't know if I darken my screen if it will be better or not, but so you go to right click weld on that little arrow down, come down to image info, and you can see right there very lightly, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but if you try to do it through your Cricut, this is how to find the font that you've used when you've welded letters together. I hope that this tutorial was useful and that it helped you. I know I had many, many headaches when I tried to figure this out. I hope that this helps you and you guys have um, a blessed day.